Hello family, today is Saturday, October the 14th, 2017, and it is the wee hours of the a.m., and I have come on to begin our carnitas. Now, family, inside of our Ninja Oven, we have a four-pound pork tenderloin roast. We're going to quarter cut um, two onions, line the bottom of our oven, we're going to squeeze up two oranges, two limes. We're going to quarter cut also some tomatillas, and we're going to put them in our oven. We're going to make a rub for our uh, uh, roast with some cumin, some oregano, some minced um, garlic, some chili powder, black pepper, and some salt. Let's get started. This here is just a skin that um, overlays the tomatillas. Auntie, what's tomatillas? Tomatillas are in the tomato family. Um, and they're just really, really good in um, Spanish dishes. And I just like the taste. Now, in um, some carnita dishes, they won't put tomatillas. Um, a lot of times, tomatillas are put in chili verde dishes, but I like the taste of them, and I like them in my carnitas, so that's the reason why I'm putting them in there. We're going to take one tablespoon of chili powder. Two teaspoons of cumin. one two two teaspoons of oregano
one. Two teaspoons of salt, one, two. One tea, one teaspoon of black pepper, And about four cloves, about four cloves of garlic. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a, ourselves a dip out of this, about like so. I like garlic anyway, so I'm a counter to win.
an easier way to soften up your limes, lemons, and oranges is to really do them at the bottom of your foot. But for camera purposes, I'm not going to put them on the bottom of my feet, but this is another alternative. You can also take a rolling pin too on them and um, soften them up for juice and just as easy as well. I didn't even look for my juicer. I didn't even go through all of that. So we're just going to make do. Without it. And we got our compost wastings. Now with clean hands, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take out the excess pulp. I'm going to take out the seeds. I don't want to take out all of my pulp, but I'm going to take out the seeds for sure. Now, if you have a strainer, take it through your strainer, and you won't have to put your hands in it like this, but my hands are clean, so I'm not worried about it. We're going to allow this to cook for eight hours. Good night, family. Good morning. Good morning, family. We have an hour and seven minutes left. And oh my God. Mmm. Oh my God, it smells so good. As you can see, my son is already up playing the game. <laughs> Let me get my coffee ready.
Okay, we're going to take two forks and we're just going to pull this apart. I'm just pretty much just making smaller pieces of it. No, Egypt, this is not for you now. I'm going to get a little knife, something better to work with. I'm going to take some seasoning salt. Now you can chop this up as fine as you want it. You know, usually they'll hit it with like a really sharp knife and really mince it up into like really small pieces. My knives just aren't as sharp as they used to, but they still get the job done. But you can kind of mince this up as small as you want to. But I think that's pretty good enough for us. Excess juice from the slow cooker and then we're going to drizzle this over the whole top now we're going to put it in the oven under the broiler for about mm, six minutes or so just enough for it to crisp up not enough to cook it because it's already done, but you want it to kind of sear a little bit and sear those juices on there and kind of caramelize it on there a little bit. And we're going to do this uncovered. So let's get it ready. Family, this is my um, mortar and pestle. This is for making like guacamole and whatnot. It is very, very heavy. Um, it is what you use to mince up your guacamole. And it's a good showpiece as well. Oh, that's just, oh yeah. Let's do these guys first.
Back. I'm busy right now, honey. Can I call you back in a few minutes? Wow. I'm going to add one packet of guacamole seasoning mix. Now you can add like Lipton onion soup mix if you want. If you don't have your guac mix, it tastes just as good to me. Um, and that also that Hidden Valley Ranch. Oh my God, it is ooh, equally as good. But again, season it according to your diet restrictions and your taste. But this is how... We like it here at my house, so. I'm not giving the uh, taco uh, fold in them. I'm just kind of leaving them flat. But if you want the taco fold in your corn or flour tortillas, then of course you would do that now while you're cooking them. And that's just simply folding it over like that and allowing it to cook and harden.
Ooh, it's hot. Egypt, but you know what? But you're drinking right in the midst of mommy's video. Yes. Right in the middle of my presentation. You're doing this. Really? Okay, now here comes Sebastian. Really, guys? Wow, right in the middle of Mommy's video. You have no shame, none. They're thirsty, what can I say? Oh my goodness. Okay. From my home to yours, Bon Appetit family. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.